Oh, Hindu's here. Come along. They are trainers, motivational speakers, partners, and also partners of life together. Thank you. So, they have written multiple books on motivation. Some of them are around leadership and also law of attraction. Three lakh people they have already trained, 300 organizations and they attach with the organization to ensure that motivation is up and there. So you're going to have a power pack session and I will stay tuned to all of you. But you'll keep seeing me in different avatars. That's what I am, Sudarshan Chemicals. <laughs> Right, thank you. Thank you so much, Radha. Okay, so before I start off, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, especially people behind, let's bring that again. Good afternoon. good afternoon! So one small request before we start the program. Everyone look towards the partner sitting next to you, either on the left or the right. Hold them by the shoulder, quickly, come on. Hold your partner by the shoulder. People, in the behi people behind, come on, hold your partner by your shoulder. Hold the partner by the shoulder, people behind. Yeah, let's do that. Yaha ke log bhi, idhar baju wale ko pakad lo. Baju wale ko pakad lo. Ab sab log zor se mere saath bolo aur partner ko dekh ke bolo. Jago, mon pyare, jago, bolo. Bolo, wake up time, wake up time. Hilao zara usko. <laughs> All right. So, before I start, my name is Mitesh, Mitesh Khatri. That's my wife and business partner, Indu. We do behavioral training programs for a lot of companies globally. When I say behavioral training programs, what are we here for? What are we going to do for another one hour time? Let me give you a quick input on that. To clarify, when we say behavioral training, whenever we do programs like these, the idea is to take business to the next level. And there is always potential in the market to take our business to the next level. The question I want to start with is do we need to work on business potential first or human potential first? Kiski potential pe pehle kaam karna chahiye? Business potential pe ya human potential pe? What's the answer? Human potential. So the next one hour is not about business. It's about you, it's about me, it's about human beings. Now obviously when we are talking about human potential training or behavioral training, some amount of learning is required. Kuch na kuch seekhne ke liye padega. Question is, are you ready to learn? Seekhne ke liye tayar ho? Ab peechhe ke log haat nahi utha rahe. Seekhne ke liye tayar ho? Now, question is, when we talk about learning, kitna seekhna hai, what are you going to learn? Let me give you a little brief on that. The presentation is going to start soon, and in the next one hour, by about 1.30, 1.45 is my time limit, we need to finish about 200 slides of behavioral science. Behavioral science ke kuch 200 slides humko complete karne hai. You will be getting manuals. Abhi wahan se doors khulenge aur aapke haat mein kuch manuals aayenge. Each manual is about 100 pages. Zor se bolo, how many pages? So 100. 100 pages aapko memorize karne hai word by word. You need to memorize the entire manual word by word in the next one hour. So not too much work, about 200 slides and 100 pages of manual. I hope you're excited to learn. Really? Okay, so I'm just having fun. There's absolutely no slides. There's no manuals, there's no writing work. We're just going to talk about something interesting about how human behavior is made. We're going to experience a few things. And here is the promise. Here is the promise. We're going to make this day as one of the most memorable days of your entire life. You will remember this day for the rest of your life. I'm not saying you're going to remember it for a few days, for a few months, or for a few years. What am I saying? For an entire life. Now for that, obviously we can't only do conversations. We have to experience because conversations can be forgotten. Baate hum bhul jate hain. But there is one thing we don't forget. What is that? Experiences are difficult to forget, right? So there is one question that I want to start with, and I'm obsessed about that question. The question is, what is the difference between these two types of people? And we all know there are these two kinds of people in the world, these two kinds of organizations in the world. You know, one which we call as ordinary. What is the second, everyone? Extraordinary. Question is, what is the difference between ordinary people and extraordinary people? What makes ordinary people ordinary? What makes extraordinary people extraordinary? Because we all have unlimited potential. We all have unlimited potential. How many of you agree 
that we all have unlimited potential. Give me a loud yes or no. Yes. So then, why are some people called as ordinary? Does that mean ordinary people don't have potential? No. They have potential? Yes or no? Yes. So then why are they called ordinary? So I want you to take 10 seconds, turn to your partner, whoever's sitting next to you, and discuss about what's the one thing that is different between ordinary and extraordinary people that differentiates them as a human being. All right? So look towards your partner, discuss that, and then I'm going to take that answer from you. Baju wale se baat karo, 10 seconds. Kya difference hai ordinary or extraordinary logo mein? Jaldi se, baju wale se baat karo. Hindu? R4. Okay, time up, time up, time up, time up, time up, time up. So I'm just going to come down quickly, and I'm going to try to go behind, because a lot of people behind need waking up. So I'm going to quickly come behind, raise your hands if you have an answer for me. Ordinary or extraordinary logo, my difference kya hai? Yes. The leap of faith. The, the leap of faith. Okay, that's one answer. But what is the difference? How do you define... The difference between ordinary people and extraordinary people? Ordinary people have, uh, uh, you know, they have, uh, extraordinary people have failed, but then risen again. Extraordinary people fail, but they again start up. Ordinary people fail, but they don't? They don't start again, they don't rise up again. Okay, something else? Understand the difference between smart work and hard work. Understanding the difference between smart work and? Very good point. So let's now go to closer towards the real point over there. Whenever we talk about ordinary people and extraordinary people, ye definition badalta hai. the definition keeps changing. So let me give you one single definition that will work in every scenario. For an example, how many of you like cricket? Raise your hands. Do you like cricket? All right. Give me the name of a player which you find extraordinary. Okay, a lot of people say Sachin Tendulkar. Nowadays, some people say Virat Kohli. Fair enough. Let's take Sachin Tendulkar. During the times of Sachin Tendulkar, there was one more player, there was one more player, and they said that that was also an extraordinary player. People said that. Vinod Kamli, how many of you agree that that time, some people said Vinod Kamli had much more talent than Sachin Tendulkar? How many of you agree with that? Do you remember that? Right? But then, who turned out to be extraordinary? Sachin Tendulkar. How do you define that difference? Let me clarify the difference for you. All of you repeat this with me. Ordinary people, repeat this with me, come on. Okay, wait. Turn to your partner next to you and tell them, you need to repeat. Bolo, baju wale ko bolo, you need to repeat. Baju wale ko bolo, piche wale log, baju wale ko bolo, bolna hai. Baju wale ko bolo, bolna hai. All right. So repeat this with me again. Ordinary people, come on. Achieve. Less things. In more time. Extraordinary people achieve. More things, More things in less time. less time. Please repeat that to your partner. Ye pura definition partner ko repeat karo. Jaldi se. Repeat this definition to your partner. Okay, let's do that again. Let's do it together. I hope you remember. Ordinary people achieve what? Ordinary people achieve less things in? And extraordinary people achieve more things in? So if you say Sachin Tendulkar is an extraordinary player that time, the reason you say Virat Kohli is probably more extraordinary today is why? Because he's achieving what Sachin Tendulkar achieved in lesser time. Am I right over there? Now that definition applies to you, me, everyone. We've already achieved a lot in the last few years. Yes or no? And we are already an extraordinary organization. Does that mean that we remain extraordinary forever? It doesn't mean that. You can remain extraordinary only if you play by this definition. You are extraordinary tabhi rahoge jab aap is definition ke saath khelte rahoge. Yani aane wale saalo mein, for an example, in the last five years, whatever you have achieved, for you to be continued to be called as extraordinary, what do you need to do in the next five years? Do you need to achieve the same that you achieved in the last five years? Or more? In the same amount of time or faster? Yes. And that is when we will be continued to be called as extraordinary. Yes or no? Yes. 
So the question I want to start with is, if I want to do more things in less time, more things in less time, in my behavior, what is the first thing that controls my action? My behavior is my action. What is the first thing that controls my action? Take 10 seconds, 10 seconds ka time lo partner se baat karo. Hindi mein phir se sawal pooch raho. Hamare andar kaun si wo ek quality hai, jis se hamara action control hota hai, so that we can achieve extraordinary things. While, while you've got one answer over there, I want you to first talk to your partners for 10 seconds so that everybody gets an opportunity and they didn't give me the answers. Talk to your partner. Baju wale se baat karo. Now there are some people who've attended this session, you will not be giving the answer. Because other, otherwise that will be copycat. I know, that's the whole point. <laughs> okay, so I'm again going to go behind because some people in the front already know the answer. What is the one thing in us, in human beings, that controls our behavior so that we are able to do ordinary or extraordinary things? Yes, behind there. You said thinking, so thinking is controlled by that quality that I'm talking about. Okay, everyone, attitude is either positive or but jab ye quality upar niche hoti hai, when this quality goes higher and lower, it controls your attitude. What is this quality that I'm talking about? Kis cheez ki baat kar raho Your mind works on it. Usi ki baat kar raho Your mind works on that. Ye kya hai? What is this? Emotions. Okay, now very close to that answer. Can we please give him a big round of applause over here? Okay. One, one important question there. One important question there. Ye answer mein abhi samjhaunga, but uske pehle, a very critical question. Do you believe human beings need appreciation for growth? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so nine Yes or no? Yes. Well, you'll observe that everybody loves receiving appreciation, but not everybody gives appreciation. When we work in an organization together, we all need appreciation. So who's going to be the giver? If we all are receivers, who has to be the givers? Only Rajesh, huh? <laughs> or only the boss. So all of you say this with me. I need appreciation. Say it with me. Come on. I need appreciation. But I won't give it. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, right? Take both of your hands like this, everyone. I hope you can see me on the screens. Take both. Not, not up like this. It's not hands up. <laughs> it's like this. It's like this. And say this with me. Giving, Giving. and receiving has to be balanced. Does that make sense? It has to be balanced. In the team, if everybody needs appreciation, who has to become the giver? Some of us or every one of us? I think every single one of us has to be a giver. Do you agree with that? So, I will say in Hindi, we don't just want to give it. We also want to Clear on that? So, I want you to clarify this point. Like we clapped for this gentleman here. What's your name, sir? What's your name? You gave us the answer. Huh? I can't hear you. Can you take the camera towards him? Huh? Kya naam hai sir aapka? Mr. Joshi. Ab Mr. Joshi ne humko sahi jawab diya. He gave us the right answer. It's not that you did not clap for him. You did clap for him. But, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Abhi ye jo taali baj rahi hai, ye kaisi taali hai? Kanjuso wali hai generous? Ye baut kanjuso wali hai. It's very stingy because we are saying that this kind of clapping does not include every single person in the room. Some people are clapping, some people are cla not clapping. That's not okay. So here is what I want you to do. I want you to turn to your partner and make a promise. The promise is, I will generously clap today. Turn to your partner and say that. Everyone turn to your partner and say that. I will generously clap today. Baju wale ko bolo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Joshi, can I ask you to stand up again, please? This time, this time, my invitation to you is, my request to you is, when you clap, not even a single person should be not clapping. Not even a single person. Can you do that? Yes. Let's give him another round of applause, but this time generously. Come on. Oh, come on. Let's get generous. All right, thank you. If you turn the camera again towards Mr. Joshi, everyone look at his face and tell me what do you see on his face. Kya dikh raha hai? You'll realize that it's natural to make people happy when you're appreciating them generously. Yes or no? Yes. So let's not do that only for one person. Let's do that for every single person who participates in this program. Are you okay with that? Yes. So for accepting that invitation, 
please give yourself a big round of applause for that once again. Thank you. Okay. What was the answer he gave? You didn't hear that, so let me give you that answer. The answer he gave was emotions. And there's a closer answer to that, which is called as energy. All of you repeat that together, energy. energy. The word en emotion also relates, because what is energy? Energy is your emotional state of mind. Okay, all of you repeat this with me. My energy, come on, my energy. is my emotional state of mind. Please repeat that to your partner. Please repeat that to your partner. So, when I'm taking action, when I'm taking action, sometimes I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what I'm supposed to do, but sometimes I'm not able to do what I know. How many of you agree? Humko malum hai ke karna kya hai, lekin jo malum hai hum wo kar nahi paate kabhi kabhi. Malum hai? Right? For an example, how many of you have this experience that when you go home in the evening, you sometimes get irritated on your family members on small, small things. Kitne logo ke saath hua hai How many of you have gone, gone through this? We all have, right? All males, not the women. I understand that. <laughs> I got that. And when we feel bad, when we get irritated on our family members, we know we should not do that, but we do it again. Yes or no? I'll tell you why. Because that's the minute, that's that minute, you're in the wrong state of mind or you're in the negative emotional state of mind. When your energy is wrong, or when your energy is low, the worst of you comes out. When your energy is positive, or when your energy is high, the best of you comes out. So I want you to repeat this with me. When my energy is low, come on. The worst of me comes out. When my energy is high, the best of me comes out. Eye contact with your partner, repeat that. Repeat that to your partner. Piche ke log bhi baju wale ko bolo. Okay. So if you remember what I said, when my energy is high, which part of me comes out? So whenever I'm working, do I need to focus on the work first or the energy first? We need to focus on the energy first, but you'll observe that, for an example, when you start your day in the morning, what level of energy do you start with? Low, medium, or high? Everyone? Hopefully, depending on what happened at home. But, <laughs> but as the day goes down, what happens to energy? Energy goes? That's natural or that's wrong? That's natural. But as the energy goes down, you'll observe that we continue working. We don't take the time to be aware of what our energy is and to correct that energy. For an example, post-lunch, what happens to our energy? How do we feel emotionally? Give me some words. Lazy, yes, lazy is one very honest emotion. Sleepy is also one. Tired, sometimes irritated, exhausted, yes or no? What happens to your productivity because of that? It doesn't mean you don't have the knowledge. It just means that that minute, your energy takes over you. And that's the negative energy at that point of time. So do I need to continue working post-lunch? Or do I need to re-energize myself first? So all of you repeat this with me. Energy first, work later. Repeat that. No, use both your hands the way I'm using my hands. With your left hand, you take this one finger and you say, energy first, work later. Come on. Look at your partner, say that. Come on. Energy first, work later. Look at your partner and tell your partner. So isko Hindi mein bhi bolenge. We'll say it in Hindi also. Partner ko bolo. Energy pehle, kaam baad mein. Bolo, bolo. Partner ko bolo. All right. So right now, in this room, what is the level of energy we have right now? Abhi kitna energy hai? Low, medium, or high? This is the highest of Sudarshan? <laughs> this is kind of medium. The most honest answer was given by those people, especially behind, who did not give me any answer. <laughs> now, with this kind of an energy, can you really take an organization and transform it with this kind of energy? Not really. Not with this energy. You need much higher energy. Question is, like you charge a mobile, can you charge human energy? Can you recharge human energy? Yes or no? We can, and we are about to do that. But before we do that, we're going to get into an activity. The problem with the activity is some people are comfortable with the activity, some people are not comfortable. When you're working on a team together towards a common goal, 
Is it okay if some people are aligned and some people are misaligned? Is that okay? अगर एक कॉमन गोल है हमारा और कुछ लोग गोल की तरफ काम कर रहे हैं कुछ लोग नहीं कर रहे हैं चलेगा नहीं चलेगा सो लेट्स रिमूव दैट रेजिस्टेंस फर्स्ट बिकॉज इन द नेक्स्ट एक्टिविटी वी नीड एवरीबडी अलाइंड डज दैट मेक सेंस सो लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट इज दैट प्रॉब्लम देर आर टू थिंग्स इन लाइफ लिसन टू दिस केयरफुली आई हैव रिटन एन एंटायर बुक ऑन इट एंड आई बिलीव दिस इज एन ओरिजिनल कन्वर्सेशन देयर आर टू थिंग्स इन लाइफ वन इज कॉल्ड एज डिजायर्स एंड द सेकंड इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सपेक्टेशंस एंड आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू रिपीट दिस विद मी लाउडली व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट वन Second one, what is stronger between this? What is stronger? So everyone tells me. I've even read it in books that the stronger your desire to achieve something, the more you take action. But you know the fact of life is, desires don't have any power. Desires do not have any power. That's why willpower doesn't work. Let me give you an example on that, and let me clarify that with very simple language. All of you, repeat this with me. Desire is a should. Repeat that. So in Hindi we would say a desire is what? Ye kam karna chahiye. Ye kam karna chahiye. So that's a should. A expectation is a must. Please repeat that. Let me clarify that for you. Especially in the statement that I'm about to say now, especially now, every single person has to repeat this with me. Are you ready? People behind, are you ready? Baju wale ko bolo jago. Baju wale ko bolo jago. Baju wale ko bolo jago. Are you ready? Yes. So repeat this statement with me. Sab log mere saath repeat karo. My salary, My salary is a should. Is a should. <laughs> How many of you agree? Are everybody was listening? Not a single hand. Salary is a should or salary is a must. So that's the difference. Your salary is not your desire. your salary is what it's an expectation that you have from the organization yes or no yes. similarly when you join the organization you sign your kras you sign up your paper that says what are your roles and responsibilities those are organization desires or organization expectations <laughs> yeah don't misunderstand that as desires right those are expectations yes or no yes. for an example all of you repeat this with me coming to the office every day come on <laughs> is a should it's not a should it's a is that an expectation from you to you or organization to you from organization to you am i right about this so if you really look at it what is more powerful between these two things shoulds or must let me give you a very powerful example right now in the room i when i ask you the question i want you not only to raise your hands but i want you to turn around and look at how many people are raising hands aapko haath bhi uthana hai aur piche mudke dekhna hai kitne log haath uthate hain are you ready so be ready to look around be ready to look around along with your answer okay how many people here think you should exercise every day kitne logo ko lagta hai roz exercise karni chahiye raise your hands and look around look around look around wow okay put your hands down for a second the number of people who raise their hands it was almost everyone all of you exercise every day but you raised your hands <laughs> i think you're getting my point so please repeat this with me just because i desire something zor se bolo no no even people behind said with me just because i desire something come on it doesn't mean i'm serious about it but that's how it is that's how it is whenever you call something a should in the language when you define something as a should your mind works very differently the level of commitment suddenly goes down but when you call something a must you find ways to make it happen yes or no let's take an example over here if let's say okay all of you trust rajesh okay i'm not hearing answers there very dangerous if i don't get an answer here all of you trust rajesh yes or no okay if he gives you an opportunity not me if he gives you an opportunity tomorrow morning you bring me 50 lakhs how much 50 lakhs 50 lakhs 50 lakhs and i will double your money in the next 15 days only how much time 15 days 15 days mein paisa double it's an investment opportunity 
I have a very realistic question for all of you. Do not raise your hands if you don't mean it, but if you mean it, please raise your hands. How many of you here, realistically, will have the capacity to arrange that money till tomorrow morning? Kitne logo mein yaha capacity hai ke kal subay tak aap log 50 lakh sach mein arrange kar paoge? Haad bhi uthana hai, baju mein dekhna bhi hai, jaldi dekho. Come on, look at your hands, look at the number of hands going up. Uh, first two lines are not playing the game properly. <laughs> They can arrange much more, I can promise you that. <laughs> Broke. <laughs> but, but look around, look around. Kitne logo ka lagta hai, 50 lakh de sakte ho subay tak, batao. Uh, very few people, about 8, 10 people. Fair enough. Ab dekho kitne haath upar jate hai, now see how many hands go up. Okay? How many of you married, raise your hands. Married and have children? Have children, not married? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people still had both hands up, I don't know why. <laughs> but I understand nowadays people travel so much in business. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so here's an example. It's a good and a bad example, so please forgive me for it. Consider that your child has to go through some medical treatment, and tomorrow morning, the treatment the doctor says is not a should. The treatment is a? Treatment is a must, which means if you don't do the treatment, the child won't survive. It's a life and a death situation. I have a simple question in this room. Kal subay tak agar aapke bachche ki jaan khatre mein hai aur 50 lakh ilaj ke liye jama karne hai, in case you need to arrange that money, how many people here would do everything in your capacity to get that 50 lakh tomorrow morning? Aap mein se kitne log sab kuch karenge, kal subay ilaj churu karenge, zor se haath utha. And yes or no, loudly. Yes. Look around you, look around you, how many hands going up? You see the number of hands going up? It's almost everyone. Right? Here is a reason. Here is a reason. Listen to me very carefully. When something becomes a must, when something becomes a must, the how does not matter, then things happen after that. Then you will make things happen after that. Because nothing in the world will stop you from making that happen. Yes or no? Yes. I'm not saying there's a God-given guarantee that you will succeed, but I know one thing, that you will not leave any chance of a failure. Am I right? You will not leave anything behind. So I want you to repeat this with me. When something becomes a must, come on. The how doesn't matter. I will make things happen. Please repeat that to your partner. Please repeat that to your partner. It's a very powerful statement. When something becomes a must, the how does not matter. I will make things happen. So right now, if we want to take our organization to the next level, for an example, I was talking to Rajesh and one of the goals, I was asking him which we want to achieve in the next financial year, is 2,100 crores by 31st of March, 2020. Right? Some people are like, Achha, ye kab when did you make this goal? <laughs> but let's say that's a goal. Let's say that's a goal. 31st March, 2020. All of you repeat this with me. 2,100 crores, come on. <laughs> by 31st of March, 2020 is a should. <laughs> but see, that's the problem. Some people make it a must, and some people make it a? Is that okay? That's not okay. So please repeat to your partner, 2,100 crores is a must. Come on, repeat that to your partner. <laughs> and remember the date. <laughs> it's 31st March 20? 20, 2020, not 21. Are we clear about that? So we're going to start an activity right now, but any activity we do from now is not a should. It's a must. Are you okay with that? Yes. I'm not going to desire something from you. I'm going to expect something from you. Which means it's not a should, it's a? And what is more powerful, by the way? The should is powerful or the must is powerful? There's only one problem with the must. I want to cl quickly clarify that for you. Let's say you have two bosses. You have two bosses. One expects low from you, the other expects high from you. Which boss helps you grow more in your life? And which boss do you avoid? I, some people said hi, some people said both. I heard somebody saying both. <laughs> but listen, if I want to grow in my life, do I need people expecting more from me or less from me? But the problem is we avoid people who expect more from us. Yes or no? I'll tell you why. Look at my body language, everyone. Whenever someone expects more from us, that person puts us under pressure because expectations come with pressure. 
Yes or no? And if you look at my body language, whenever we go through pressure in life, do we naturally move towards pressure or do we move away from pressure? Naturally, what do we do all over the world as human beings? We always move. And as you move away from pressure, you're moving away from expectations. As a result, you're moving away from growth. So if you really want to grow, if you really want to perform in life, do you need to live in the world of shoulds or do you need to live in the world of must? Which means desire or expectation? Hello? Desire or expectation? So you need to expect more from each other or less from each other? But the problem is expectation also builds pressure. What do we need to do with this pressure? Manage the pressure willingly or avoid it? There are two ways to handle pressure in life. One we are born with, the second needs to be learned. Let me tell you the first way we are all born with. So all of you take your hands like this. People behind, come on, do your hands like this. SNA, like this, like you're blocking something. And do this, come on. I can't see people doing that behind. Come on, come on, come on, say, do this. And say this with me, boss. boss. <laughs> this is not possible. <laughs> Let's do that in Hindi, come on. Come on, come on, come on, do this. And say this with me, boss. boss. Itna nahi hoga. <laughs> Kuch yada ya? You remember something? Whenever someone expects more from us, we say, boss, not this much. Itna nahi hoga. And the moment you do that, you're avoiding pressure. Right? So if I really want to be stronger in my life, do I need to manage more pressure willingly or less? I need to manage more and more pressure. Willingly is the word here, so listen to this carefully. The quality of your life depends on the amount of pressure that you can manage willingly. It's a very powerful statement. Say this with me again. The quality of my life, come on, <laughs> depends on the amount of pressure that I can manage willingly. Now what's the key word here? It's not pressure anymore. The key word is willingness. If you manage pressure willingly, it makes you stronger. If you manage pressure unwillingly, it gives you blood pressure. <laughs> Which is true, right? So I want you to repeat this with me. Manage pressure willingly. Repeat that. Look at your partner and say that. Look at your partner and say that. Manage pressure willingly. So I'm going to start an activity right now. And the activity is not a should, it's a? But the pressure is going to go low, the pressure is going to be high. Are you going to manage the pressure or avoid the pressure? So one way I showed you was managing the pressure was what? This is unwillingness. I'll show you what is willingness. Take your hands like this. Like this, like this. Do this. Come on, come on, come on, do this. And say this with me, bring it on. No, not, not bring it on. <laughs> This means something very different. <laughs> Not bring it on, all right? Do this again, come on, bring your hands like this and say, bring it on! Bring it on. Look at your partner and say, bring it on. Come on, right now. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This entire section of the room, this entire section of the room, turn towards these guys. Come on, till behind, either turn karo, either turn karo, aap log yahan turn karo, turn this side. Come on, turn, 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 turn this side, turn this side. Haat badao, haat badao. Raise your hands and say, bring it on! Loudly, sir, bring it on! Okay, now look at your bosses, look at your seniors and tell them bring it on. Come on, right now. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Where is the boss? <laughs> boss is gone. He was scared of bring it on. <laughs> okay, listen up. Whenever you say bring it on, it doesn't mean you have the capacity to handle pressure. It only means you have the willingness. Right? So capacity builds willingness or willingness builds capacity? Willingness builds capacity. So first the willingness is more important, not the capacity. The problem is when someone expects more from us, we look back and those, we tell those people, boss, we can't do so much because that's not our current capacity. But we are not concerned about your capacity, we are concerned about your willingness. Does it make sense? So tell your partner, manage pressure willingly today. Come on, tell your partner, manage pressure willingly today. So if you are ready, I want you to practice this with me a little bit right now. Thoda isko practice karna padta hai. Haat wapas aise karo. Haat rakho. Even people behind, I can see you. Come on, hands like this. Do this. I will ask you the question. You are supposed to say bring it on. So try this again. From today onwards, 
If the market puts pressure on you, what do you say? If your friends put pressure on you, what do you say? Your boss puts pressure on you, what do you say? Your customer puts pressure on you, what do you say? Your wife puts pressure on you, what do you say? I get that, I get that. I'm in your same boat with you. I like Brian's answer different. He's saying, I love you. <laughs> okay, so moving on from there, I'm going to start an activity right now, but I just want you to repeat two things with me first. First one, energy first, work later. Come on, repeat that. The second one, repeat this with me. Expect high, make it a must. Come on. Look at your partner and say both these things again. Say both these things again. Energy and expectation. So are we going to have more pressure or less? What will you say? 